Assuming we clear out the lines, the most entrancing star I perceive is the star that could stun our sky. It is this one frightening little animal, juice or scarab. Crush, it's a red, very Goliath star. Also, on the dubious chance that you put it where the sun is, it would reach out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's huge, totally capricious, and going to detonate. It's not quite as clear as it seems in the universe. These Goliath events, like the most incredibly dreaded gig trick starbursts, could shake all that we see, notwithstanding taking the necessary steps not to see its center. Scarab juice has been thought of as a sign, a red, incredibly Goliath star that is normally more significant than our sun. Brian Cox, along with other space experts, figures it could go cosmic explosion, which has made people scared about what will happen next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star, raising the question of when Betelgeuse will transform into a cosmic explosion and what a titanic impact it will have on Earth. We should sort out the star in the constellation Orion that shines so brightly that even people from quite some time ago have seen it. The incredible star, Scarab Jew, is located on the eastern shoulder of the wonderful body Orion. It is the second largest star in the star group, and its name comes from this element, the beast shoulder. It is maybe one of the most brilliant stars in the evening sky. On top of being astoundingly brilliant, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests inconvenience. We've had some enormous experience with bug juice for quite a while. A Greek monitor named TMY2 zeroed in on it. Around that time, the primary thing people recognized about stars was their color, and TMY said that it was a total shaded orange in color. Researchers have been focusing on the star much more anxiously of late, and now they have a bright idea of what works. One of these characteristics is that the star changes size a lot, with a clear size of 0.6. Scarab Jew is a variable star, which means that its quality changes over time. Recently, experts have made a couple of new discoveries about the star. In 2019, analysts first saw that bug juice was acting unpredictably. In any case, Although scarab juice didn't totally quit sparkling, it wasn't the same. It had become fundamentally less brilliant, shining at a degree of around 1.6. Experts quickly began to analyze why they were seeing the tenth most brilliant star above in this eccentric way. Experts expected to offer an astounding explanation based on their research, which revealed peculiar signs from the star. As demonstrated by their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go cosmic explosion at any second. Brian Cox, a recognizable examiner, shared the strikingly unsafe clarification as a recognized teacher of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physical Science and Cosmology. You shouldn't accept his perspective as a joke. He also has a science show, writes popular science books, and is the Royal Society teacher for public engagement with science. Brian Cox says that frightening bug juice is by all accounts a ticking delayed bomb, since it could go off without timely notice. To expound on the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an awe-inspiring amount of proof to back up this explanation. At any rate, what capricious signs has Betelgeuse shown that have brought such a great deal of trouble in space science? With the new data about Scarab Jew, the star has been named a cosmic explosion contender. Regardless of the way that experts are still unsure when it will detonate, the fact that surprising bug juice is twice the mass of the sun is one explanation for this order. A star, as it's been said, should be a couple of times the mass of the sun to be known as a cosmic explosion. Things get genuinely interesting, anyway, because reviewers have used unique instruments to look at bug juice. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory have been used to see what's going on in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a truly lengthy time ago. Around that time, the star, frighteningly, gave odd hints that made its future unclear. What did they find? Well, they could get inquisitive light waves coming from the star, or, on the other hand, from Betelgeuse, which is staggeringly inquisitive. In any case, it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This brings us back to the probability that Betelgeuse is a star whose splendor changes once in a while. It was said that terrifying insect juice diminished down at regular intervals and had dim spots like our sun today. In any case, the conditions are different. It changes from brilliant to dim two times as quickly as it used to, 
which is another sign that Betelgeuse is acting in a strange way. Researchers tracked down that the star's obscuring cycle had hit a band of nature of 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the Great Obscuring event. Study how the star seemed to black out in an unusual way in 2019. That is because it's regularly known as the Incredible Obscuring. We could see that the Incredible Obscuring was the beginning of Betelgeuse's surprising behavior, which made many people stress that Betelgeuse was going to detonate. The scope of obscuring was 1.2, somewhere between 2019 and 2020, and the most reduced degree of obscuring ever recorded was in 2019. So, well-informed authorities were sure that terrible scarab Jew would go cosmic explosion in the following 100,000 years because of the super-obscuring. There was a section happening in the universe, so this is really startling. Investigators immediately significantly impacted their viewpoints. However, when they saw what happened next, Betelgeuse got brighter again after the extraordinary obscuring, and it became something much more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astronomy says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than usual, making it the seventh most brilliant star in the sky. Researchers were frightened when they saw a red sparkle in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets very captivating since this has incited various contemplations about what caused the incredible darkening. First, it's critical to note that not all stars have the red sparkle of Betelgeuse. The red shimmer of Betelgeuse truly means that it's a red, very giant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red glimmer, on the other hand, is achieved by a surface temperature of around 3,500 K, which is a lot cooler than the outer layer of the sun which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it discharges less energy per unit of surface area. Despite the fact that it is bigger and will explode, now we should look at what the excellent obscuring seemed like. Brian Cox asks, does it genuinely mean that dreadful little creature juice will go cosmic explosion? Well, the fact that Scarab Jew is a red, the very monster, as of now, shows that it is nearly wrapped up with its life as a star. A star that is biting the dust will likewise, as often as possible, debilitate over the long haul, which is, in any case, something that experts get. Betelgeuse's new, astounding way of behaving has made specialists substantially more centered. Other than that, many telescopes are currently zeroing in on the noteworthy obscuring. Still, things get considerably more interesting since specialists don't have a huge comprehension of bug juice. Researchers are now utilizing the most cutting-edge devices to keep an eye on the inamoring things occurring around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been perhaps one of the best apparatuses examiners have utilized up until now. Starting in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped examiners secure a lot of critical information about Betelgeuse. The new photos of Betelgeuse's striking obscuring, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a monstrous mass release. In view of new examination, we presently know that this mass send-off was multiple times more critical than a normal coronal mass launch. The James Webb Space Telescope can likewise check out at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Therefore, researchers are amped up for what the telescope will find. Examiners have seen dust fogs forming on the star's surface that appear to seem like leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, but in spite of the way that bug juice will pass on, experts are still paying special attention to it since they don't know when it will go supernova. NASA researchers believe that bug juice is substantially more massive than the sun and that the radiant red star will, in any case, shine for the next 10 years. However, if we check the numerous inquisitive things occurring with the star, it's testing to say if this explanation will still be valid after the unusual obscuring. So. Specialists try not to figure bug juice will detonate anytime soon. If Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the first cosmic explosion we see with our own eyes since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Specialists also don't expect this to happen soon because they are still focusing on the star's unusual behavior. Notwithstanding the truth that Betelgeuse will make scientists certain when precisely it will happen remains a mystery. If we separate the universe without prejudice, Perhaps one of the most enchanting stars, and perhaps the most astounding in our sky is Betelgeuse, normally alluded to as Bug Juice. This red supergiant star, 
at any point set where the Sun is would loosen up to Jupiter's circle. This incredibly massive, sensitive star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such immediate terms. Impossible to miss, tremendous events like supernovae can potentially completely upset our perspective, a thought that may possibly happen. In any case, while the opportunity of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, specialists are still working to grasp the specific course of events of its destruction. As examiners continue to gather data from the most moderate space telescopes, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they remain cautious about predicting an inescapable impact. No matter what the star's odd behavior, including the mystery of obscuring and illuminating cycles, there's no guarantee about when Betelgeuse will ultimately reach the finish of its life. Some speculate that it might still require millennia before the star detonates, but others believe it may happen much sooner, perhaps within the next several years or even months. The surprising information accumulated by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's conflicting behavior, has kept scientists apprehensive. They are carefully monitoring what is happening, utilizing every instrument available to them to detect any subtle changes that could indicate a cosmic explosion is near. When Betelgeuse does, at last, explode, it will send shock waves through the universe, releasing a gigantic amount of energy. The blast will immediately obscure the entire system, visible even from Earth, as bright as the full moon. While this event will be a brilliant, endless display, it will not pose an impending risk to Earth, as the star is found in excess of 600 light years away. At any rate, the cosmic explosion will give a significant opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life. Betelgeuse is not only a subject of scientific interest, it's an indication of the vastness and eccentricity of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a significant role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the universe with the elements needed for new stars, planets, and possibly life itself. The death of such a star is not an end, but instead a transformation as it releases heavy elements that will eventually seed new stellar systems. Meanwhile, analysts continue to observe bug juice and its behavior unraveling the mystery of its future with each new discovery. The mystery grows, and our understanding of the universe expands. Perhaps, before long, we will witness one of the most astounding events in the universe, Betelgeuse's transformation from a massive red giant into a dazzling supernova. Up until that point, the sky will remain a canvas of miracles, with Betelgeuse shining brightly as a symbol of the fleeting nature of life in the universe. As we continue to observe Betelgeuse, the mystery surrounding its fate expands. Space specialists are especially focused on the fact that this star is nearing the end of its life cycle, and its unpredictable behavior is a sign that something significant is coming. It's important to remember that supernovae are not the last stage for all stars. For example, smaller stars like our Sun will end their lives in a much more settled way, shedding their outer layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. Anyway, Betelgeuse is a huge red supergiant, which means that when it dies, it will go out with a massive bang, far different from the gradual fading of smaller stars. The sheer size of Betelgeuse makes it an enthralling subject for study. With a radius several times greater than the Sun, if it were placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend past the orbit of Mars. This gives you a sense of just how gigantic it is compared to the Sun, which is already a giant by the standards of most stars. The size of Betelgeuse means that it has consumed vast amounts of fuel throughout its life, and as it nears the end of its life, its core is quickly collapsing under the force of gravity. This collapse is what eventually triggers the violent explosion of a supernova. The process leading to the explosion of Betelgeuse is complex. As it approaches supernova status, the core of the star begins to contract and heat up, while its outer layers expand and cool.